whatever you do, do not use a coming soon page. I'll tell you why. Hi, I'm Galen from Local Creative Co. And in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you all the things you should not do when you are redesigning your website, specifically in regards to SEO or search engine optimization. It's really important that when you redesign your site and you eventually make that transition from the old design to the new design that you at the very least maintain and hopefully improve your search engine rankings. I offer a service called an SEO power hour where my my clients can hire me for one hour to look over their SEO efforts and make recommendations. We actually do a lot of the changes together live on the call. If you want more information about that, I'm going to put the link in the description below. But a ton of people lately on those calls have been asking me about transitioning their site to a new design and what that means for their SEO and how they can make sure they're preserving their SEO during that process. The first tip I have for you is don't use a company soon page. I know I mentioned this earlier, but it is really important. So many times people really dislike their old website and they want to throw up a temporary landing page or coming soon page while they're working on their new site. And they just take down the site altogether and use this as a placeholder. The problem with coming soon pages is that they have no value when it comes to SEO and they're likely not optimized. So if your old site was ranking pretty well, and then you take that down to put up a coming soon page, you may find that your rankings are dropping. The only time when a coming soon page is a viable option is if you don't even have an existing website and you want to put a temporary coming soon page live in the meantime, while you're designing your site from scratch. The next tip I have for you is specific to your homepage. If the homepage that you had on your old site had a mixture of text and images, and then the new homepage that you're moving to is more of a short landing page, maybe it just has visuals on it, but no text, you want to be really careful because Google needs text content to understand the context of your website and what it's all about. Ideally, your homepage should be a mix of text and images. You should use the proper headers and make sure that they're in the right order so that your website makes sense to those search engines that are crawling your site. But it can be really difficult. You wanna make sure that as you're adding text to your homepage, you're incorporating it into the design. You're making it so that the text blends blends really well with the images on your site. We don't want your homepage to read like an essay. We want to make sure that the text is still visually interesting and it's drawing your reader down the page. The next thing I want you to do in this redesign process is check your SEO settings. Every page on your old site probably has a page title and a meta description. You want to make sure that you are at the very least copying those same settings from your old site to the new site and even better, you might go through and do a little audit and actually update or improve them on your new site as you're getting ready to launch. This next tip is a little bit trickier, but don't let it scare you off. I want you to open up Google Analytics or Google Search Console. You hopefully have both already set up for your old site. And if you don't, let me know in the comments below if you want a tutorial on how to do that. But hopefully you already have them set up and collecting data about the visitors to your website. You're going to go into Google Analytics or the Search Console and pull a report of all of the pages that have had some amount of traffic or visitors to them in the last 90 days to six months or so. You're going to look through all those pages and make sure that you have recreated those same pages with the exact same URL slug. And by URL slug, I mean that last little bit of the URL that tells Google exactly where to find that page, you want to make sure those are the same from your old site to the new site. And if you change any of those page URLs on the new site, you can set up SEO redirects or redirects for your site. So that way, when Google goes to find that page at the old URL, it's going to redirect to the new URL and you're not going to see any loss of traffic. 
Now that you've looked at all of the URLs on your old site that you need to either recreate or redirect to on your new site, it's a good idea to go through those pages and see where there might be some more opportunities to add content. As I mentioned before, Google loves words on your website and it's important to make sure that you are adding valuable content whenever possible. As you go through your site and redesign things page by page, this is also a great time to look at the images on your website. You probably have a lot of images that you've just uploaded and haven't really thought twice about. You want to make sure that you go in and you rename those images and that you also add alternative text to those images. If you want to know more about image SEO, again, let me know in the comments. I can make a video specific to that. But basically, you're going to want to get in the habit of updating your image file names before you actually upload those images to the website platform that you're using. And then you want to make sure that you update the alt text too to give your website that extra level of accessibility and to make sure that screen readers will be able to understand what the images on your website are all about. Regardless of which website platform you choose, Redesigning your site can be a pretty stressful process. And if you'd like some help from an SEO perspective, make sure to check out my SEO power hour. I'd be happy to take a look at your site, make any recommendations. And if the DIY redesign process has just been too overwhelming altogether, you can hire me and my team for a design day to get that new site built for you and ready to go live. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm also going to include a link in the description below to my free three day SEO challenge. If you like the DIY approach and want to learn more tips along the way, see you next time.